You're watching Night Shift on SoapNet. Jagger, uh, seizures are quite common in children with autism. At around Stone's age and then again at puberty. What happens is the brain's electrical activity is misguided, causing a temporary misfiring of the nerve cells. Well, this could be the last seizure that Stone ever has, or... Or it's something he could live with for the rest of his life. What are the causes? Well, we don't know. Research hasn't been conclusive to indicate the link between autism and seizures. But don't you think if we were to look at similar cases look, of Jagger, kids... I want you to have a say in this, as the parent. Is there anything you want to ask? Yeah. Why my son? Jagger, listen, I've worked with Stone. So I can tell you that he's an exceptional child. You know that. It's just that we may have to look at these seizures as something that's a part of your lives now. looks painful. Mm, no, it's actually quite comfortable. Now, that was top of the line. It comes with batteries. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, come <laughs> on now, son. Breasts are a beautiful thing. All of those different shapes and sizes. To sort. <laughs> Don't you have somewhere to be? <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> come on, Nurse Johnson. Spill it. What? What's going on between you two? Tassan and I are dating. <laughs> nice cat. Ooh, and I'm not hiding it anymore. From now on, it's full disclosure. Good for you, Bethany. You know, I just got tired of all the secrets. You know, they just weigh you down. And, and, you know, in the end, they just hurt people. I think that Tassan was right. That if you're hiding the truth, you must be ashamed of who you are. Amen. I'll run some more tests tomorrow, but I don't see why I can't take them home in the morning. Excellent. Dr. Scorpio. What? Is something wrong? Why aren't you with my dad? Agent Scorpio said he detected a possible bomb in the apartment. He had me evacuate and told me to meet him here. He can't be alone. Well, he didn't want me to be with the bomb. There's no... Just... Thank you very it's much fine. for your help. We'll, we'll take it from you. Yeah. Will you be okay? Of course. Are you sure? Who knows what he's getting himself into? You're right. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Bye. Bye. Can't be too easy having a uh, girlfriend's daddy living with you. Yeah, especially when he could kill you in your sleep. Right. <laughs> but, you know, it's... It's Robin. I'd do anything for her. Yeah. She's an amazing woman. Yeah, she is. I don't know what I would have done without her. She's beautiful. Yeah. I'm a lucky guy. Yeah. The dishwasher's having a seizure. It attacked me. I swear. Sorry, I called the landlord yesterday. You know, if you need anything, you can just ask me. Look, the Port Chuck Hotel has fine room service. I can check in there. The Port Chuck Hotel burned down years ago. And you can't be alone. What am I, three? What time is it? <clears throat> Nineteen hundred hours. In normal time? Seven o'clock. Oh, crap. I gotta get to work. I'm sorry. Okay, so, Dad, just stay put and, um, take a nap and don't touch anything. Okay? See you later. Bye. How did I become the kid? Hey, guys. Hey, Patrick. Uh, don't you think it's a little too soon for these kinds of tests? I mean, he might not be ready. Uh, I think he's ready. I just don't. Hey, Stone, can you say thank you to Dr. Drake for, uh, for helping you out last night? Hey, Stone, you know what? I got something for you. Take a look at this. Oh, wow, 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 look at that. Cool. Cool, huh? You like it? I like it. <laughs> hey, Stone, it's good to see you. It's a rock collecting kit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just something I got from the gift shop. Why don't we go back to my office and pull those things out and see what we got? Jagger, the nurse is going to come over with something for you to sign. Thanks. See you guys later. Thank you. He's going to be a great dad. Thanks. 
so? Yeah. You should be thankful you have him in your life. It's not so easy being a single parent, you know? Yeah. You know, before, I thought that I could do all this by myself, but now, looking at you, I, I don't know. I haven't slept all night. And I've been talking with the insurance company all morning. And they're telling me that they're not going to cover Stone's treatment. What? Yeah. The insurance company's saying that it's not medical. That's ridiculous. I know. And by the end of the whole treatment, it will be like $50,000. My God. I mean, I work for the government. I don't have that kind of money. What am I going to do? Hot chocolate? With extra whipped cream. What's the occasion? I was just thinking about it. You better be careful, Dr. Julian. People around here are going to start saying you're whipped. Sarah. Yeah? I like you. I like you, too. Night shift on SoapNet.